And today I'm going to try a real-world test of what happens to, with a large temperature change when the quad is armed, when I take the APM outside. Um, it's about 85, 86 degrees. Um, I have the camera focused on the screen so you can see the roll in pitch in the graph on the right and the magnifier is over the raw temp value. I'm going to arm the APM now. The motors are disconnected. And then once it's armed, I'm going to give it a little bit of motor throttle. And I'm going to carry it outside. So you'll see some pitching and rolling because of that. I will return shortly. is now sitting outside on the ground. I'm going to spin the camera around. See its location. It's just sitting in the grass. I put it kind of in the sun, kind of in the shade. And then we're going to watch the screen here and see how things change as it heats up. After we get a, hit a certain temperature change point, we're going to start to see a continuous roll. Um, and it didn't take a whole lot of temperature change uh, to produce this behavior. So now it shows a continuous roll. We pan back out to the quad. It's obviously just sitting there on the ground. And that's what happens with temperature changes in real-world uh, application right here. If you take your quad from an air-conditioned building, uh, plug it in, carry it outside, arm it, and fly it, it will roll uncontrollably after a very short period of time. Um, at this point, I'm going to disarm the quad. Okay, the, uh, it returned to level, considered itself into a fairly level position. And I'm actually going to rearm. I'm going to give it a little bit of false throttle. And now that it's been armed again, it's going to start its roll over. Disarm it again.
memory art. Okay, and I'm going to move my mouse cursor slightly so you can see the calibration values along with the temperatures. And I'm going to disarm the quad. I'm going to go outside, power off the APM, and power it back on again. The quad has now been power cycled. I've lost connection likely though. So I'm going to disconnect and reconnect. And when it reconnects, we should see new gyro calibration values. There we go, a new set of values. Uh, the quad's holding level. I'm going to go ahead and do an arm. Quad's now armed. Give a little bit of throttle. Now that's calibrated to the new temperature, it's going to hold its position very well. I've not had it vary its roll position by more than a couple of degrees while just sitting there on the ground after I've allowed it to calibrate the, the gyros at the proper temperature. And that's all I'm going to test today.